Your body knows how to clear out, to cleanse out any of the energies that are causing blockages which ultimately cause the disease. The body, the biology already understands how to rebalance. But along the way it's been told that um, it, it doesn't know. Along the way it's seen evidence from, from the operator, from the owner, that doesn't necessarily even want it to rebalance itself because the, the owner is going everywhere else for the, the cure or the remedy. So the body's own intuitive and natural healing, rebalancing capabilities shut down. They stop working because, in a sense, they're just supporting and just reinforcing what the Creator is, is seeking to create. So they shut down. When you come back to this place of implicit trust in yourself, total surrender to you, total trust in your body's ability to rejuvenate, that reactivates that, that knowledge, that wisdom, reactivates that energy that allows the body to once again rejuvenate itself. Can you truly trust yourself, your true self, God self, your spirit self? Trust your body to rejuvenate itself? Can you truly trust your life to yourself? So often when you have things like fear in your life, fearing for your health, for instance, you start trying to push and force energies, trying to make yourself healthy. Can you trust yourself so much that you don't have to make yourself healthy? Can you trust that you don't have to try to block out energies? Many of you get into this whole thing about blocking negative energies from the outside. That takes a tremendous amount of your energy to try to block it out, to try to push it away. Sometimes you do go into your body, into its consciousness. You try to force energy. You try to force health. You can't. Can you trust in yourself so much that you can just let go? Some of you are afraid that you have cancer, afraid that you have some other disease. Some of you have actually accepted the fact that you have this. And now you're trying to create walls. You're trying to push energy to heal those areas. Can you stop doing that now? Can you trust in yourself, in your body, and its miraculous capability to rejuvenate itself, to rebalance itself? You see, at the core, all energy seeks balance and resolution. It's nothing that you have to manipulate with your mind, nothing that you have to force. It's just a matter of trusting yourself and allowing this process to take place. Many of you have been trying to, to stop what you call this aging process. You're using a tremendous amount of energy to try to counter what you believe is a natural process. Can you stop using energy to fight energy? Can you trust yourself so much that you just allow your body to do what it already knows how to do? Deep trust. Can you absolutely let go of methods, of modalities, can you let go of control and manipulation of your own energies? As the physical body starts to get sick, it brings up the fear. People begin fearing death, fearing illness, 
fearing that they're not going to be as as vibrant as they once were. When that fear comes, they start to battle that fear. And once again, a tremendous amount of your own life force energy goes towards battling the fear. Battle doesn't mean you have to do a direct frontal assault. Battle means you could be trying to manipulate, pretending that you're not in fear, pretending that you're happy. That's one way to fight the fear. Pretending that you're this uh, grand spiritual being and you're going to overcome the fear with some nice little sayings, perhaps with a little bit of energy work. But all the time, you're really truly battling the fear. You haven't trusted yourself. Take a deep breath. Be so bold as to let go, to surrender to yourself. This brings up a lot of issues because people generally don't trust themselves. They don't trust their body. They definitely don't trust their mind and they don't know what their spirit is. Humans are generally perplexed at their own body. They don't understand how or why it works. They don't trust it, so they go to others to get it fixed and repaired. It knows how to do that already. But it requires jumping over this huge, dark chasm. And that chasm is about trust. Can you trust yourself so much that you let go of all of these other things? Take a deep breath. Can you absolutely trust your body? Not a little bit, but total trust that it knows how to take care of itself. Can you do this without trying to manipulate the energies, without trying to force anything? Can you have absolute trust where you don't start processing in the mind, you don't start analyzing, you don't even have to start using things like imagination, but you just trust? Can you let your own body take care of itself? (laughs) 